Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough, playing as Ark in the Black, leading the Tomb Kings to world domination. Previously we destroyed Raponce, and now we're trying to fend off Setra, who's leading Kemri. He's probably going to end up taking the Sheik, which is going to be annoying, and then we're going to have to try and wipe him out with Arkan. After doing so, we'll take back Lashik and Kofa, and I think I'll probably end up attacking the Bretonians because at the moment the Dwarves, they are going to be harder to attack due to their base units being better than ours, whereas the Bretonians will probably be much weaker. It, I guess it depends how much cavalry they have at the moment, but yeah, we will see. Anyway, not much else to do for this turn. We've got uh, two turns until we can get a new army, which is good. Uh, no one we can really trade with other than potentially... Uh, the dwarves later on uh, but not for now let's just leave it move on see what happens I'm gonna guess Kemri takes his attack yep in they go now one thing we could potentially do is maybe try and take out some of these chariots so I'm gonna give it a go the chariots are quite weak if they get caught amongst like spearmen and stuff and I can focus them down with the archers the War Sphinx, I could maybe do some damage to it because they don't replenish as easily. I think what I'm going to do, we're going to just come over to the left-hand side here and I'm going to try and cut down those chariots. We'll try and get both of them. Probably only get one doing this, but we'll see. They do like to flank. I think I'll let them charge my front line and then I'll enclose upon them with my Nehekara horsemen. Uh, the leader's coming over. Good old Setra there. Coming straight over. Yeah, I'm just going to focus down. Actually, let's have one of those keep Setra. Uh, we'll keep Setra's attention there. And these lot can go in for the chariots. <clears throat> okay, so we've already done a lot of damage. That's good. Just need to kill them off. If we can start to make them crumble, that would be fantastic. I'm just a little worried at the moment about the uh, Cambrian War Sphinx coming in to our rear. That would suck. It looks like we might have them. Right, let's move this one back. Okay, good. We destroyed them. Alright, can we destroy the next one? Be good if we can. I'm not sure if we will, though. I need to keep these guys out of it. Okay, my archers really need to be involved to help with this. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So I need to get my skeleton archers into position. Then we've got to break down those chariots. We destroyed a unit entirely, so I mean, this is already a win. Uh, I think we're going to crumble any second now that the armies actually have started to attack us. We did hit the second realm of souls, which is okay. Uh, maybe we can do like enough damage to like not have them replenish in one turn. Okay, never mind. That's it completely outnumbered but yeah they have one less chariot so that's one less unit I've got to worry about in the next battle which is good at least we get something for losing Lashik like upgrading Lashik and losing it is the worst part like I kind of wish that I hadn't I hadn't have upgraded it and put the money into like my main settlement instead probably would have been a lot smarter Because getting a higher level main settlement sooner than later with the Tomb Kings is probably better than having numerous low level settlements. Uh, mainly because of the way that the buildings work and the limits on our armies and so on. Okay, so I guess we'll just go up to the edge of the province here. And just get the last little bit of replenishment I don't know if there's anything else I'd rather want out of any of these because we could take the opportunity to recruit more 
but I think the number of skeleton archers we have is important to take down the Cambrian War Sphinx, which is going to do a lot of damage. So, that's important. Okay, nothing else we can do, I don't think. So we'll just be moving straight on to the next turn. At least public order is not too bad at the moment, still plus six. We'll see where Camry goes. Did they not move? Where are they? Oh, he's over here in March stance. That's awkward. Um, well, he's out of range. I'm going to give this guy... Conqueror, I think. I'm going to march into Sorcerer's Islands, I think. Because he's probably going to try and take that. And we weren't in range to attack him in normal starts anyway. This is going to be strange. But one thing I probably should do as well is start saving up the Canopic Jars so that I can get another army with the 10,000 cash. We should do that. Right, are we going to get attacked? We are. I was actually kind of worried that he was going to go down to our main settlement. If he'd done that, I would have been in a bad position. His army is really annoying. I mean, thankfully we got the reinforcements allowed back. But yeah, this Cambrian War Sphinx is a pain. What's our map look like? Ooh, okay. This could be a good opportunity to wipe out Cetra's force. Still going to be tough on the front line due to the Tomb Guard. Those Tomb Guard will do a lot of damage. Skeleton Warriors do get the better of Skeleton Spearmen over time. We have way more archers though, which could definitely work in our favor. I've got to take out the chariots, I've got to take out the Cambrian War Sphinx. Because even though the chariots won't be able to charge us very much, like then they won't be able to flank us because of the uh, close area, they still do a lot of damage to infantry because they're anti-infantry. So, yeah, I'm going to have to target those and the Cambrian War Sphinx ASAP. They don't have many archers themselves, so yeah, this this looks like it's going to work out quite well. But we'll see. Just got to make sure that I'm using my magic, use the Liber Mortis. We've got uh, these curses and stuff that we can use. Oh, we actually lost Winds of Magic. That's tragic. Okay, um, I don't know how I want to do this. Maybe I actually do it further back, like so. And then we kind of have the advantage with our bows. I can shoot those from right to left. You know, these left to right and so on. I think this is better for my bows if I do it like this. We have the Crypt Ghouls kind of just backing us up. Actually, then again, it might be better for us to be concentrated because of the Liber Mortis. This has a certain radius. If I could affect the entire front line at the same time, that would probably be better. So let's uh, tuck them up a little bit more. I think we'll do that. Okay. That'll have to do. Let's start the battle. Yeah, so that can affect, like, one side, which is, I think, good enough. I'm also going to have to make sure I'm Spirit Leeching, etc. I could also use the Tra's Incantation of Righteous Smiting on one of my bow units to take down the War Sphinx faster. Could be a good idea. I will just speed things up. I kind of wish I already had Invocation. Alright, there's his War Sphinx. I'm probably going to just target that down with like all of my archers at the start. Super important that dies.
Also, got to make sure the Skeleton and Chariots die, of course. Skeleton and Archers are going to be quite annoying because they're kind of out of range with the way that I've set up. Well, the Skeleton Spearmen will parry quite a lot of that from the front. Okay. In they go. Yeah, we should hit that camera as War Sphinx for sure. I need to basically do one of these and then tell that to just target them. Right, these ones we're going to have attack the skeleton chariots. And Cetra, we're going to hit with the Spirit Leech immediately. We're getting hit pretty hard here already, so we'll just put down the Liber Mortis. And we'll get our reinforcements in. Okay, uh, let's just make sure we're killing off the Camry War Sphinx. We're doing a lot of damage to it, and honestly, the shots of the missing are still hitting the enemy at this point. Well, maybe not anymore. Taking that down is super important, though. We'll hit Setra again. I have my Tomb Prince go on him. My Tomb Prince actually gives bonuses, doesn't he, to units around him, so he should be further up. Right, the War Sphinx is nearly dead. Uh, where are those chariots? And they are. Make, we need to make sure those are dead because they're going to keep charging in and out. Wait, I've already got a Shabti. Okay. Interesting. We're taking a lot of damage then. Right, we got it. Okay, cool. Push these to attack on this side. I want these Ashabti to kill off the skeleton archers ASAP. But they're really failing at the moment. I might get my bats to help out. Also, it should keep spirit leeching this guy. And we'll start just cycle charging on the bottom side. Okay, let's get Arkan into the engagement. We're doing okay. I think we are getting the better of them, slowly but surely. Where's Cetra? There he is. Hit him with another ability. Make sure my Tomb Prince goes for him. Charge in again here. These two have run out of ammunition. Okay, we'll pull back the Nehekara Horseman again. These ones also run out of ammunition. We do have one more cast of the Liber Mortis. I've also got enough to do the Spirit Leech onto Cetra, although the Team Prince looks like the Team Prince might get him. I might just Spirit Leech him anyway. Just in case. I think my bats might die trying to kill those, but at least they've stopped them firing. Okay, good. Cetra's dead. These Nehekara horsemen have actually been doing really good on the charges. Right, 
And my frontline forces are just disintegrated completely. This is just nuts. The skeletons versus skeletons. Oh, my so scorpion's in a bit of trouble. Not a servant. Spell casting. Ah, Actually, I might be able to bring these Nehekara horsemen over here and charge into the back of these lot. That would be a good charge. I think Nehekara horsemen have, like, really good charge. Especially against, like, shitty units like Skeleton Spearmen and Warriors and stuff. I think we've done it, though, which is good. Uh, I wish I could Spiritish something. I might just Soul Blight. Cool. There we go. Crumble, 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 crumble. Goodbye, Cetra's army. Phew. Well, there we go. Damn. That was certainly a pro victory. <laughs> we didn't lose our Tomb Scorpion, so that's good. Um, but we lost our entire front line. Wow. Cetra's army's gone, though. Yeah, we'll try and peace out with him. Because his armies or his lands are very far away. There's really no point in being at war with him. If he's gonna keep throwing armies over our way, it'd just be a pain in the bum. I'd probably best to just take the Canopic Jars. Actually, I guess 1000 Treasury and the campaign movement range is pretty nice. Okay, cool. We do have a second army that we can build. Is treaty? Nope. Okay. Never mind, huh? We're gonna have to do the same as we did before. I like build up on the side here. This is really silly. So we'll have to global recruit as well. I'm kind of tempted to get Skeletal to Warriors over Skeleton Spearmen. Skeleton Spearmen being good for the flanks. We definitely don't need more Skeleton Archers. That'll take us to 18. Okay. Um... Do I want Soul Reaper maxed out? Probably not. Not yet, at least. Character Leader or is pretty nice. Let's do Doom and Darkness. That'll be pretty useful, actually. Especially in situations where they're almost crumbling. You can kind of force them to crumble. And I don't know what I want to do here. I guess we could go for like Assyrian's Incantation of Vengeance and get the ev evasion and go to Sachmas in Incantation of the Skullstorm. Cool. Anyway, um, probably just going to want to go straight on to another army, I think. I, I, I guess I could, in theory, send some or use some Canopic Jars for like a Lich Priest or some money for another Tomb Prince. Those could be pretty good uh, units, but I think just having another army for now would be better because I don't think we're going to have Nehekara Warriors for a little while. Oh, unless I upgrade one of these, but I don't have enough cash. So yeah, we're going to have to hold on to that. Right, the Incantation of Tra. Get a Necrotect hero. Um, so I believe in the comments somebody was mentioning that I should probably do this in order to get back a ruined city, but 
is irrelevant. I don't know. I haven't really got that far through this campaign yet. <laughs> Not with with the good old Camry hitting us like that. That's really, really causes us a lot of problems. I don't know if I should build the second army sooner than later. I think I'll build it in like a couple turns when we have like some global recruitment left over. Because I'm going to probably fill this out with like a couple more skeleton spearmen. And then from here we just need to find a decent dude. So we can do Strategist, Tactician, or Eternal. The Eternal's pretty nice, actually. Uh, but I think we're going to do Strategist. And we just start queuing into his army. I don't know if I want to do uh, Direwolves and stuff. I guess if I micro die wolves, they could be pretty good. Uh, let's just uh, take some of these out. That's going to be eight turns regardless, isn't it? Or is it? No, seven turns. There we go. So that's that army building. And then we can double stack stuff, that would be pretty good. I might just go and take La Chic sooner than later. If we cancel this recruitment, we can just go and take this treasure, it's probably a good idea. Uh, sail to the wreck. Yeah, we need this money. Let's play it out. I'm going to use my money only on my main settlement. Make sure that gets maxed out. Should have done that from the start. Okay, let's just have these be the front line. Okay, again, I'll spirit leech their leader. And we'll have to focus down the rotting leviathan with our archers. The rest of the stuff should be relatively simple to deal with. Spread out a bit more. Boom, Prince. Oh, they do have the Adept Guard with pole arms there as well, don't they? Because we put a volley into those, maybe. I could also have my Tomb Prince engage. Got my Tomb Prince like right in the middle. I'll keep him right in the middle here, just so that he gives a Guardian trait to all of the stuff around him. Let's have my scorpion just go mess up some of these zombie pirate gunnery mob. I've already done lots of damage there, that's good. See if we can kill those off. Okay, those are dead. That's good. Uh, I don't need them. No, we need them attacking the gunnery mob. <laughs> Alright, 
Where's their leader? Him with the spirit leech. Uh, probably just do a soul blight here to reduce the armor of the rotting leviathan. I think the rotting leviathan, yeah, it has a lot of armor, so that will help out a little bit. Not a lot. The alpha damage will eventually take it down. Look how many shots that's taking. Ridiculous. We hit their lord again. Uh, rotting Leviathan still taking shots. Blimey, so much ammo going into that. Okay, it's dead. <laughs> Finally. Let's kill the zombie pirate gunnery mob back, back there. I'll die very, very quickly. Okay. I'll take out some of these zombie pirate gunnery mob with hand cannons. And uh, we'll make sure to go and attack this guy. Doing plenty of damage here. Son of Henry. And that's it. It's victory. Nice. I think we dealt with that pretty well. The Tomb Scorpion could have done better. It kind of got stuck attacking a unit with halberds, which is obviously not very good because they are anti-large. But other than that, it was pretty smooth. Again, I think I'm just going to take the money. We got 2,500 from that and 1,500 experience. I kind of wish we got more experience from that, but oh well. At least we're not sort of wasting any recruitment time because the other army is going to be recruiting. Very close to getting a Vortex spell, which will help us out a lot. Uh, we have the Cinnamon upgrade we can do. Wizard Caliph's Palace. Fantastic. We can now afford it. Good stuff. Okay, and we'll end the turn there. See, I'm going to try and move towards the Sheik. And this army should start helping us out with public order whilst it recruits. Oh wow, there's another army there already. That's annoying. Do I want a skeletal steed or a chariot? The chariot would be nice, but I don't think it's... I think the, the steed's probably better, actually, for Arkan. I can't believe they built it, like, right next to us, the army. Really annoying. Do life leeching for now. This is forbidden. Tomb King of Nehekara. And this army is going to get big sooner than later. Yeah, this is 17 out of 18. If we attacked them now, it'd be okay, but... My servant fails me. Mm, this is annoying. Also, Setra might take it over soon.
<laughs> what a pain this has been at the start. <laughs> right, living servants, minus diplomatic relations with all factions, or we can get extra diplomatic relations with all factions and minus public order. I'll take the growth, thank you very much. Okay, I guess Arkhan's going back again. I have arrived. And I kind of want to recruit while I'm here. So I might get rid of like the normal recruitment. I think that was the global recruitment, wasn't it? Yep. Do a couple normal recruitment. Uh, yeah, we'll grab those, and we'll grab some more Skeleton Warriors, I guess. Serve me. And I'll have to re into this again. That'll do. Okay. Back to Arkan. And in the turn. <laughs> Go on, Kemri. Give it a go again. I mean, if they don't come towards us, I guess what we could always do is just wait for our second army and double team them. But it's going to take a little while. Let's do Lich Priest buried. So Judas Priests. Lich Priests should live only to serve their king's undying will. Betrayal should be anathema to their order yet one among their number has betrayed us by conspiring with a rival tomb king how should we see it will bury him so we're getting the public order bonuses while we're here at least i right, see so he's gone back to lashik which is fine the number of infantry that this army has is actually really bad for us because our archers can't get that much value Unless I, like, kill their leader, I guess. Okay, so their army moved in March stance. Which means we might be able to catch it. Depends how far it is from us. Unhappy populace. Great. Uh, we cannot. The desolation I'm gonna go into ambush stance. I don't think we'll have much ambush success chance, but doesn't really matter. I'm still gonna stand there anyway. I'll max out Conqueror for this guy. If he continues to head down, he's definitely not gonna be able to take Wizard Caliph's Palace. No way. God, I really want to get the Statuary of Kemri. Summer Shabti would be fantastic right now. And what else could we get if we upgraded? And we can upgrade here, of course, to get some Tomb Guard. That would be awesome as well. Hmm. Got walls. <laughs> Extra garrison for Wizard Caliph's Palace. Seems kind of necessary. Also public order. Oh, we should be taxing this. I don't know why I'm not. Oops. No, we weren't taxing it for public order purposes, but still. Let's continue. Where's Kemri going to go? Maybe they'll just attack us. Nope, they moved down. Okay, we might be in range to attack Lashik then. Lost tomb, hidden knowledge. During the excavation of one of our lord's tombs, a disaster occurred. Uh, we'll definitely take the money. That way we can upgrade these. Ah, oh, Shabti is so tempting, but you only get plus one capacity, which is not the best. Like, having the Shabti would be absolutely great, though. Upgrading to the Crypt Barracks, I think, is a good idea. Unlock some Nehekara Warriors and then get Tomb Guard. 
And then in the meantime, we sort of save for the skeletal garrison as well. Are we in range to attack the Sheik? We are. We'll take that back. Oh, am I just out of range? Oh, that's so annoying. I think my ambush kind of worked. Because they just ignored us. Right, they've gone into ambush stance next to our army. <laughs> this is just like me versus Kemri right now. It's so dumb. Right, give me your settlement. Okay, cool. I will raise it maybe. We could raise it and occupy. Although I don't think I don't know how much occupying costs the Team Kings. It, I don't think it'd be worth it. I might just start straight up occupy it anyway. A good reason for doing that. Oh, nice. We get it back at level two. Perfect. Um, is that we can just get this going straight away. So extra melee defense for local army is probably a good idea. Campaign movement range and growth. Uh, the minus construction cost is not too bad of an idea. An extra tax rate, but the tax rate doesn't really give us much. Um, this is fully recruited now, isn't it? So, one that gives us recruit rank is not very useful. Can we do the worship of Kazar? And I guess we'll just keep the obelisk here for now. Tempted to upgrade that. So yeah, they must have upgraded it themselves. And it was level 3 when we captured it. Oh, the incantation of preservation. Extra recruit rank for all units in the hero's army. And lord recruit rank faction wide. That is pretty damn nice. Trust it. Then again, Vortex Spell. Give me that. Since we're not recruiting anything yet, that other thing doesn't really matter at the moment. And all the while, we are working towards another army, which is good. So we'll start to build up to a point where we will just spread out very quickly. But I'll probably still have to double team most armies because my quality won't be that high. Unless I can get Wizard Kalis Palace upgraded again. But that's going to cost quite a lot of growth and also the money that we don't have. Alright, this army. Gonna step out. Go into Amish stance. I don't know if that'll work. But we'll give it a go. Uh, let's end the turn. Because maybe Kemri will go to attack the settlement and then get ambushed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ambush failed. Hmm. That's annoying. I really don't know if we can do this. And neither of us have magic. We have some archers, they don't. What's the map looking like? an open field battle. The dire wolves we can of course like probably run circles around them a little bit with the dire wolves. That could work if I micro it properly. Hmm. I don't know, I think I'm going to decline the attack. And yeah, actually this is good because I think they move next to the settlement so that we can bring in the reinforcements from the settlement as well. But they might just retreat. I don't know, I'm not confident taking that battle so I'm not going to force it if I don't have to. 
Mm, it's annoying that that was found, the ambush. Because it doesn't really matter how far we go here. Uh, getting him on a horse might be a good idea for cycle charging, but it'd be better if he was on a chariot. I uh, will just continue for now uh, with like hard to hit, I think. She blade must is probably better. It does more damage over time. Okay, will he take the attack? He will. Perfect. All right, we get some Ashabti. So this should be easy. Cool. Now, in some ways, I kind of want to keep this army here, but also it might lead me to get a peace 3D again. So we'll destroy it. We'll see if we can get a peace 3D. If not, we'll just have to go and kill Camry, I think, because they're not as far away as I thought they were. Spears on the flanks. Not that it really matters. They don't have any, like, fast units anyway. Kidoki. We'll keep the Nehekara horsemen with all of the dogs. Get my team princes into position. Okay, we're sorted. I put one team prince on one side and one team prince on the other to give the the radius bonus to the rest of them. I don't know what they're doing, honestly. Alright, let's have my bats go for their carrion. And we'll move my fast units to the left. Uh, where's my Tomb King? He needs to get in there. Okay, let's keep wheeling these around. The archers are doing their thing. Oh, where's my Shabti? Oh, they're right at the front. Never mind. Perfect. I think I'm going to charge into the back of these units where the Ashabti are killing them. Because those are the ones that are going to be partially disintegrated already. Here we go. Run them down. That wasn't as effective as I hoped it would be. Looks cool though. <laughs> I might have the Nehekara horsemen charge separately. Okay, bring these over, charge into those again, get those Nehekara warriors in there. Ok, 
Okay, disintegrated another couple of units there. So we're in enough units to attack the front line. Uh, we get on pretty well uh, with these charges. I think the Ashabti are coming after Manahekar Horseman. I got my own Shabti now. Actually, we'll let them have a clean charge. And then I'll charge my dogs in behind. Cool. Pull back. Keep them moving forwards. Great. Keep cycle charging those to death. I'll start charging on this left hand side. I did lose a unit of skeletons, I think. It does look cool with all these dogs running about. Nice charge there from the Nehekara Horseman. Some more kills with the dogs, hopefully. Good hits there. You see like the actual health chunk when the Hennehekara horsemen go in? It's pretty nice. Start spreading out again. I think I'm going to give them individual targets. Yep. Just keep moving. Right to left. That's it. Victory. They're all crumbling. Nice. We did lose a couple of spearmen. We lost our foul bats. But it's all okay. Wiped out that army entirely. I don't know why I say that because, I mean, it's Every time you kill a Team King army, it does wipe it out entirely, just like with the vampires. Cool. I uh, guess we'll just take the money from that again. I'm up to 2,500, which is just enough to build the skeletal garrison. Nice. Alright, with that done, uh, probably best to just garrison again and re-recruit stuff we're missing 
don't know if I want the fell bats. I guess they can be useful in certain situations. Got 15% movement range on him now. Kind of tempted to just let the uh, rebellion pop and kill that for some money. And unfortunately, guys, it's been my time, so I'm gonna leave it here. We've done well. Like killing these armies of Kemri over and over again does help us level up, so that's always good. We managed to take back Lashik at the level we lost it, so that's really nice as well. So we didn't lose out on anything here. We actually gained because we got the obelisk building for free. And we managed to get walls into Wizard Kalos Palace, which means we can stop worrying about the dwarves as much. Uh, now what we'll probably do is go up to Kofa. I'll probably start double teaming like Al Haik and uh, Fyrus and stuff like that. We'll give it a good go anyway. And we're going to have another army in 10 turns, so that's good. This is a tough campaign though, I'll give you that much. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.